Human well-being and the survival of societies depend on the interconnections between biodiversity, water, food, health, and climate. This web of deeply interlinked relationships is what IPES defines as nexus. The IPES Nexus Assessment is the most comprehensive global study of these interconnections to date, showing why addressing them together is crucial for a sustainable future. For generations, local and indigenous peoples have lived by this understanding. In Trinidad, Afro-descendant communities use herbs and diverse foods to protect their health and adapt to the environment. In Dominica, the Kalinago people see the links between ocean currents, water, minerals, and biodiversity as fundamental to healthy living. But today, most policies still treat these issues separately and decisions are often made in isolation. The assessment warns that a future focused only on food, for instance, may improve diets, but at the cost of unsustainable farming, biodiversity loss, water overuse, pollution, and increased greenhouse gas emissions. Studies in Latin America and the Caribbean show that focusing only on one goal, like food or climate, can create trade-offs. Gains in one sector may bring losses in others, often deepening inequalities. The good news is that alternatives exist. When nature is prioritized, actions can generate balanced benefits for biodiversity, food, water, health, and climate together. Reaching these outcomes requires holistic and inclusive approaches involving diverse voices, sharing responsibility fairly, and adapting to changing conditions. The assessment highlights 71 concrete response options organized into 10 categories. These include conservation, restoration, sustainable consumption, pollution reduction, integrated governance, risk management, equity, and finance alignment. Some of these actions stand out for their wide-reaching benefits. Indigenous food systems, water-sensitive urban design, and coastal ecosystems restoration all deliver gains across the nexus while supporting global sustainability goals. These options also reinforce strategies for transformative change. Tackling the underlying causes of biodiversity loss and building more just and resilient societies. In the Caribbean, these insights will shape BestNet's upcoming Second Caribbean Trialogue. By working across sectors and borders, countries can address shared challenges and unlock common opportunities for sustainability. The Nexus assessment offers both a warning and a way forward, approaching elements in isolation risk deepening crises. But integrated actions can create synergies that benefit both people and the planet. Recognizing these connections is the first step towards sustainable futures for all.